This is the Hawker Sidley Hawk. 175 are on order for the Royal Air Force. It's designed for basic flying training, advanced flying training and weapon training, replacing three existing RAF types and it's being developed with full ground attack capability. First flight, August the 21st, 1974. In service, 1976. These are the brief facts behind the development of Britain's latest trainer and ground attack aircraft. From the very beginning, the Hawk is being built to production standards and there will be no prototype. This reflects the confidence and the amount of research and development which has gone into the project. On the hydraulic rig, a technician checks out the duplicated flying control systems. His colleagues monitor the results. On another test rig, the wing centre section fuel tank is being fueled up. Simulated aerobatics prove the supply to these fuel pumps under a wide range of flight conditions. Two internal tanks, one in the wing and one in the fuselage, give the Hawk a duration of up to two and a half hours. Ejection seat trials. Technicians test the zero height, zero speed capability of the Martin Baker 10B rocket ejection seat. For trial purposes only, the seat remains attached to the dummy pilot. Further trials take place on the Welsh coast. This time it's the MDC, the miniature detonating cord, which shatters the canopy before ejection. A rocket sled is used, reaching a speed of 500 knots. Europe's only vertical wind tunnel. Hawker Sidley engineers and aerodynamicists of the University of Lille work together on spinning model tests. The results of this and all the detailed research and development can now be confirmed during the flight test program, for which the first six production aircraft are being used. Simplicity is a feature of the cockpit layouts and these are easily adapted to meet individual customer requirements. The rear seat is raised well above the front seat in the tandem layout, giving excellent all-round visibility, allowing the instructor to see the touchdown point during the landing approach. The Hawk is powered by a 5,200 pound thrust Rolls-Royce Turbomaker Adour engine. It has good handling characteristics throughout its speed range, vital for basic flying training and advanced flying training. The wing is moderately swept, allowing high subsonic speeds of Mach 0.9 and 550 knots. The wide double slotted flaps give a threshold speed of about 100 knots. The wide track undercarriage gives it a high crosswind tolerance and good ground handling.
This then is the Hawker Sidley Hawk. Behind it is the company's experience, which has produced 11,000 fighter and trainer aircraft since World War II. Reliability and ease of maintenance are built into the Hawk. It's the low-cost answer for an all-through jet trainer with a real ground attack capability.